On to our guests this evening now, and the first one is a cut above the rest. He has a brand new show starting tonight on the Makers Channel. It's celebrity hairdresser Daniel Johnson. Okay, guys, it's Daniel J. I'm here in Manchester with the one and only Danny Simpson. They're at the top of the league right now. All the lads are doing bits. First of all, I want to say congratulations. So I got a ping from Dan today. He said, Dan, I'm back from Dubai. I need a fresh trim. I'm giving him his trademark haircut, which is a skin fade on the sides, curls on top. First of all, I took the side of the hair down with the clippers, and then I used a machine, which I took it completely bald. It's a brand new machine not even out in the stores yet that's how i'm looking after my clients we have the best only the best so i shaved the sides and then i graduated it from skin fade up into the curls i then took the front down as a slope so it's it's shaven at the front and then it's scissored and textured all around the sides so everything looks perfect i then used the razor what can i say danny just looks absolutely amazing i mean for all the fans out there as soon as you see danny trust me you are going to see a sharp cut. There we go. Come on in, Daniel. Come on in, mate. Welcome, Welcome to the show. You all right? Excited to uh, learn a bit more about that. Hey, happy days. Daniel, uh, is this your first time to Old Trafford? Um, I've been a few times, to be fair. Yeah? Yeah. Been watching football, cutting hair? I cut, I cut most of the uh, United squad, so I'm up here quite regular. I'll yeah. say once a week. Right, very mm -hmm. good. So uh, free tickets are on you then. Um, we'll <laughs> chat more in detail about your job um, yeah. a bit later on. But do you find it hard to support one football team? I do. Um, I look after quite a few clubs. So yeah. Who's your favourite player? Oh, you're kidding me now. Um, I'll go with. You've got to be a United player. Be careful. Yeah. If um, you know any United players. I'll go for Rooney. Strike oh. out. Good shout. Is he a good client? He is, yeah. Um, he likes to have a, a different trim here and there, so, yeah, it's good. Do you do Fellaini, the big lad? <laughs> nah, not yet. What would you like to do to that? Sh shave it off. Yeah, good idea. He I mean. needs to come off now. Let's oh, uh, move on now, now to our guests. Our guest, actually, because this is the first time we've had a hairdresser on the show. Mm. But Daniel Johnson is not just any old hairdresser doing the old perm or wash or dry, because he has past clients that include the likes of Wayne Rooney, John Terry and Gareth Bale. And he now stars in his own show, Style, that begins tonight on the Makers Channel. Here's a quick clip of when Daniel caught up with former Red Danny Dim. Danny See, look, he just put me off, Danny Simpson. Danny Dimpson. What can we expect for Danny Simpson, 260? Um, I don't want to even say anything about the league, okay. but yeah, I want to finish as high as we can in the league. Um, it be you know we've, we've been a great achievement up to now, and we want to keep going. Um, personally, I, I know I want the clothing range to be banging, smashing it. Everyone loves it. Yeah. I want to be barking in a shop or down the street, and I see someone in my clothes. But ah, you know I, I made them. Um, um, so yeah, that's that's obviously my two the, my two focuses at the moment. And amazing. And everything else, you know, it's yeah. watching my little girl grow. You know, I've got my me, me friends, my me family around me, and just have everyone around me and everyone enjoy it together. There we go, style, and that's on uh, this evening. Daniel, tell us a bit about the new show. Yeah, so my new show is me travelling up and down the UK. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be having some exclusive footage with me and a few of the boys uh, from different clubs as well. And basically, I'll be giving everyone an insight to what I actually do, because I get asked all the time, Dan, all I see you do is looking good and just like up and down all the time. I'm like, no, no, no. So now I'll be showing everyone exactly um, where I am, what I'm doing, yeah. styling the players, making players look good in front of millions week in, week out. So when everyone's watching games on, on Saturday, and they're walking out the tunnel. That's all my work. Yeah. So I'll be giving them 
a really close insight, you know. And um, also showing that I find that on the pitch, most players have the same boots, all in the same kit. So players can really express themselves with their hair. Mm -hmm. So hence why I'm, I'm here. And obviously I've done some um, really unique styles for the players. And I'm, some of them have now become fashion icons. So it, it's actually helping them as well. Yeah, good um, job. I'm finding that now um, TV's more talking about hair. Um, male grooming has gone through the roof over the last three <coughs> years. It's really... <laughs> Not a hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a real insight to let everyone know what I'm doing. And also it shows the other side of players. Mm -hmm. um, players don't really get to speak much after a game, apart from... Um, about the football? Yeah. So it's letting um, players speak about themselves as well, you know, and um, share my skills. Very good. Well, tell us some of your regular clients. We'll see a couple of pictures here, I think, starting with yeah. Schweinsteiger. Um, but tell us about some of your regular clients at United, for example. Yeah, I mean, um, my boy Ashley Young, I see him all the time. I've done Memphis. Um, uh, Martial. Um, Martial, Wayne Rooney and um, a few of the rest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look after like five, six clubs on yeah. a regular. Um, do you do you actually tell them what they're having, or do you do they say right this is how I want it and you have to? Uh, to be fair, uh, some of the boys. Because sort of like a like a tattoo artist of hair, aren't you? Because the way you do everything and all that's just unique. Yeah, it's, um, I've got a trademark. Um, when I do a haircut, most people can tell that it's mine. It's you know it's really sharp. Um, I make sure that they. Almost like a mannequin. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, look at Ronaldo and Gareth Bale. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's just a uh, chalk and cheese. One's good looking, one's. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, um, my job just to make sure that players look good. Yeah, yeah. In front of millions, week in week out, you know. Who does your hair? Mine's actually a tattoo, you know. To be fair. No way. Yes way. No. Any Premier League footballers have that? You don't have to tell us, but just um, say few, yes or no. A few have had it done. I can't say who, no, no. obviously, but um, a, lot of the, a lot of the NBA boys have it. So I've got mine done about That's three. Stitch. What about him? Could he have one? Stitch looks sharp, you know. See? You should get it done. What kind of a See? hairline would you give him if you were to... Jeez, do you want to draw one. it on with a pen? <laughs> 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 yeah. um, that's a tattoo. That's, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Yeah, um, Is that permanent? Permanent. No. Yeah. Well, it lasts up to five years. Um, I had three treatments done at Harley Street in London, and um, it's it's amazing. That's I, a lot of trust out there, isn't it? A lot. I mean, I recommend it to everyone. That's unbelievable. Amazing. I, I thought you just like just shaved and that was it. Nah, 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 nah. nah. That's sweet. I like that. I'm done. Jack and bells. Me and you. Well, I don't think I need it, but maybe for yeah, you in a couple of years. <laughs> um, tell us about cutting Gareth Bale's hair just before he was unveiled as. New Real Madrid signing? Yeah, I mean, with Gareth Bale, it was a, a work in progress. I had to take my time with him. I, had to, I was trying to explain to him how to look and how to become a fashion icon. So, <clears throat> slowly but surely, I started taking it shorter and shorter and shorter on the sides. I gave him the trademark um, side part, which created over one point, I think it was 1.7 million jobs all around the world, because that haircut is still now trending and it's like five years old. Mm. So, amazing. No That's way, unbelievable. it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. So whenever you think of it, it's a very, very important job you mm. have. Massive. I'm only good as my last haircut. It's almost like a striker. Like, who cares if someone didn't score? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the same thing, so it's important. Yeah. Do you remember the um, haircut that the other Ronaldo had at the World Cup? Do you yeah, remember yeah. that little bit and everybody was getting that? Yeah. Any other haircuts like that you can remember of players that, like, kids... Well, who yeah. had the Nike, Nike tick? Did somebody have that or did I make that up? I think you made it up. That's <laughs> that's really old. That is night tick. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, a craze. Yeah, yeah. Um, Paul Pogba, he's had something recently. Yeah, he's starting to do um, a few bits. I mean, I was doing Balotelli before we went away, and he, and he was hitting headlines week in week out. Yeah. You know, because obviously, um, he was one player that said to me, "Look, just uh, do what you want." So for me, every week I had to think of something serious Different. because otherwise the press would just hammer me. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's really good.
That's cool. That's brilliant. That's so Absolutely. interesting. Did you bring your clippers with you? Is that what you call them? I didn't, you know. I didn't. Sorry. It's all right. Max does your hair, doesn't <laughs> yeah. she? She's all right. What are you looking at my hair for? <laughs> I'm just seeing what you could do with it. I'm just loving the fact that Stitch can get a tattoo on his head. I love it. <laughs> right, in honour of your appearance this evening, Daniel, we're going to play a little game here in the studio. Oh, yes. And you guys at home can get involved as well. What we're going to do is show you just the hair of some former United players, and we want you to tell us who that haircut belongs to. So, let's uh, Without see... Without further ado. Yes. Oh. That's real. I'll tell you what, he's got some... He's got a big right Any other ear, guesses? I... Really? He's right lug. That must be... No, I enough. think, but isn't that Ronaldinho? Is this... Um, United it's United players. It's, it's, it's only United players, sorry. <laughs> That's got to be Rio. It's I, not I Rio. I think that might be Rio. You... It's not Rio. That's not Fellaini. It's not Rio. <laughs> it's not, um, well, it's, it's not Rio Fellaini, Fellaini either. No. We can't see it very clearly because the TV is quite far away, to be fair, but... Come on, then. Reveal. Are we revealing? Oh, let's see. Oh, oh Anderson. My, oh, no. oh, my God. Ando. Wow. One of my clients before he left oh, as well, Ando. When did, that must have been when he first signed. You must have obviously signed. cut that off, did you? <laughs> when was that? I didn't know that was him. Right, next one. I wouldn't have got... Oh. That's... Is that, um... Mickey? No, that's, that's your era. That, it might be Mickey Thomas. It's not... I tell that's you your that era, is, that. that could be Arthur. That Arthur Alberston. Arthur, let's reveal. Whoa, boom! That is Get in. Good stitch. stitch. Okay, next that is one. Serious dude, though, isn't it? Oh, oh we classic. know who that is. Bex. Bex, yeah. There we go. What do you think about um, hair bands on men? Hair bands, not for me. No. 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 If any of my lads wore that, no. no. That's Wiggy. That's Wiggy. That is. <laughs> Go on, the Clayton. Let's reveal. <laughs> Get a Wiggy. He would have been a good guest to have on tonight. Well. Look at him. His palm tash. <laughs> That's a belter, that, isn't it? <laughs> and we've got one more, do we? One more. Smudge. Alan Smith. No, Alan Smith, yeah. Ah. Yeah, easy that. Easy that. Oh, we do have another one, actually. Do we? Special one. Smudge, yeah. Ooh. Oh, my oh. God. It's Ray Raiden. Who is that? I have no idea, Stitch. Have you any idea? Let's no, reveal. I haven't actually. Ray Raiden. Aye, aye. Uh, it's not me it's at Stitch. all. Stitch! Look at that. Go on. How could you not get that? Because it didn't look like me. <laughs> How many freckles have you got, by the way? Where have they all gone? Oh, I tattooed them out. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't even get that of yourself. That's so no, funny. but when it then when it opened up, there was a little bit more of a you know. Yeah, a little more hair. You could see the old scalp through there. But <laughs> We've also got a little there, bonus image. Daniel is a celebrity hairdresser and a man who knows all about style. Oh yeah. What do you make of this one? Wee. There wow. he is. Wow. Oh, it's it's not very clear. It's not very clear. Thank God. Really Strawberry blonde. Little hey. cutie. Fringe as well, you know. Yeah. Little Macy. Hey. hey. <laughs> Is there a lot of style going on in this room or what? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Loads. Where have you got... Listen, he said you had nice shoes on where, where have you got that picture from? I don't know. Where's the picture from? Can we have, uh, I'm sure there's another one hanging around, isn't there? It's not it's all about you, be. you know? No, no. I'm sure there's another picture. <laughs> We've got... Who's this one? Oh. Oh. Who on Stitching earth Stitching me up, that? my... Who is this? Hey! Well, I must have actually been my photo. Where's that actually from? Oh, little chubby cheeks. That is serious, that picture. Hey, look oh. at that. 